right. We got to pull up out of one of my fishing spots. It is hot outside and I do have them all black. But I wanted to welcome y'all to another episode of Fishing Chronicles, man. What is up, my YouTube family? We're about to do another podcast. Like, a drive. like I said, I'm going to do these podcasts when I'm driving to and fro. So, uh, just stop at one of my places, the crankbait spot. It's a spill off of a river. And <laughs> crazy part is, checking my comments. And the first person wanted to say about locating fish on a river. And one thing I can say, growing up, uh, I, I live right next to Mississippi River. And one thing I've noticed when it comes to rivers is you got to ride the bank, man. You got to ride the bank. It's hard to locate fish on a moving body of water, especially if you don't have forward-facing sonar. Uh, like I said, a lot, of some, a lot of fish do ride that middle section, but if you're going to find most of your fish when you're doing a river float or doing anything like that along the bank, unless you're, unless you're talking about like a two to three foot deep river you could they could be literally any place that has slack water so you pretty much want to look for slack water water that doesn't hold a lot of current because a lot of big fish and a lot of fish that don't really want to spend a lot of energy fighting that current they're going to hide behind rocks trees any type of structure they're going to set up behind that structure because a lot of fish that's trying to fight current are going to float backward and the fish that are hiding behind are going to go backward. A lot of fish that are hiding behind those rocks, hiding behind that structure. Oh, that's a frizz up and running. They're going to attack those fish that are just float, going backward in that current. So, like I said, if I'm floating a river, even if it's two to three to four feet deep, I try to find those slack spots. I tend to try to stay close to the bank. Look, and of course, you got to have something to you know, anchor you down but to look towards the bank that has brush piles, tree piles that you can see, rocks that are sticking up out of the water, because those are gonna be little pockets that a fish could sit behind and just attack fish coming around it, because it's just a really good advantage point for them, where they don't spend a lot of energy, they can get the energy to circle back after they collect their meal and to dive back into it. So that's what I would do if I was to if I was you, if you're looking for a river or anything like that to float, try to find structure along that bank edge because like I said, it gives them great cover. For one, like you said, fish, they always love cover. They love to be next to something that's not moving. So do that. Also try to find rocks, anything that's sticking up out of the water, something they can hide behind. Even some of these rivers that have like slight waterfalls. I've even seen fish set up under a waterfall and it's just like as soon as a as soon as any type of bait fish falls over that fall, it just wham, poof, you just see it. Like a tack. I've seen I've had friends that go do floats and then they Oh dang, he got a he got a little cedar. One of my neighbors down the street. Uh, we was just talking about one of those, like a little mini boat. It's kind of built on a like a jet ski platform. My neighbor, uh, not neighbor, neighbor, but dude that lives on the same street as I do has one. I didn't know he had one of those. But um, yeah, so look for that. Waterfalls, little bitty tiny waterfalls that I would I would say uh, rocks that are sticking out of water that could be uh, like a two or three feet deeper behind to give them something to hide behind trees down in the water things of that nature they can give them an advantage point to hide behind they can eventually come out and ambush their prey aka their meal so if you got the ability to do that when you're on the river unless you're talking about like the mississippi which i live on with which i fished on which is you know 20 30 feet deep sometimes at some points that you're pretty much looking for flats uh there's going to be high and low points in the river then you want to look for those and try to attack fish that are setting up on those because depending on the time of year it can be all a little different but you know in the spring you want you definitely want to go up close to the bank because like i said at that point it's spawning season it's time to get that time to get that th get that thing going so um yeah so without without further ado man thanks for watching like comment subscribe man i'll catch y'all next video i'm pulling up into the house right now and um, other than that, man, I'll catch y'all out on the water. Hopefully, I can have a kayak fishing video for you guys soon, man. I've been waiting. I've been itching to get back on that water, man. Plus, it's b lat season, a.k.a. it's time for his tournament. And I've been 
been ripping and rearing to get out on that water, which hopefully, like I said, it will be this week. So without further ado, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next Catch Up King video.